project that you can use for U.S. history or civics. Most of the time I use it on civics, though, whenever you're teaching the election process. Um, make sure they have the basic terms of platform, planks, electoral college. And I'm teaching currently all regulars this semester. And I just drug all these posters off my wall. Um, however, most of the students, you could have them choose to make an election poster with an actual poster board, or they can do it online if you have access to if you have access to um, internet in your classroom. And the online free poster account is called Blogster. You can actually create an account for your kids. You can create as many accounts as you want to. That's what I have my students do. And then I log in and make sure that they've either uploaded one or sent it to me via email. Um, these, and I can't remember the Glockster account right now that I just created a few weeks ago, so I apologize. But these are the ones that they've created on um, just regular poster board. And it's really interesting because you have them pick whoever they want to run for whatever office. And that's one of the requirements. This one, of course, is Snooky. And then they have to pick, and the regulars love this. They love to get into it. And it's real interesting who they pick and for what office. They have to have three political platforms, or excuse me, three political planks. And they have to look that up via online or something we've learned through, through their textbook. Um, so this one's me. And most of the time, the students have a lot of fun with me and Henthorne teaching back and forth across the hall. He's always coming into my classroom telling my students some lie. And I always have to reverse their thinking. So he had one. I'm not sure where it went. I didn't, I didn't see it on your door in Hinthorne, so he probably threw it away. The kids picked him to run for office, and then they picked me to run for office. So this is the one for me. This is a made-up political party, the Toilet, the toilet Cheese Head Party. And if you open up the toilet, there's Hinthorne's head. And um, <laughs> this one's really good, too. I've had this one on my wall for a couple of years because I love Chuck Norris. So of course, the student made an A. And they picked three political planks in which we're dealing with at this time. Immigration, death penalty, uh, this is the roundhouse kick party. So they have a lot of fun with it. And then we, um, I have to approve of it first before they do their poster um, on a rough draft. And then once they put it on a regular poster or a blogster and send it to me, the next day we vote on who has the best poster. And we vote in two different categories. You vote for your favorite person because I don't want people voting for Snooki or Wiz Khalifa or Lil Wayne just because it's Lil Wayne. Uh, for example, this year I had Hugh Hefner win, probably because of the models or Playboy bunnies he had standing beside of him. And then I also had, um, I think it was Wiz Khalifa for everything that he believed in and what he wanted to pass in the next election. So due to two different types of voting, the person that they want to win and the platform they want to win. And so they're learning about what's going on in the world today or the United States today and how election processes work. And I definitely plan on using that um, electoral college thing we just presented and dividing them up into groups and let them vote that way. So this is a really good project for regulars, but honors like it too. That's all.